let's go over the components we'll be installing. First, we have the hard drives. We'll be installing two serial ATA hard drives, each with connections for data and power cables, a SATA DVD recordable drive with connections for data and power cables, two PCI Express 2.0 16x video cards, a PCI wireless network card, and a PCI Express 1x sound card, three 1 GB DDR3 memory sticks, processor with heatsink and fan, the motherboard, the computer's case, the power supply, an extra case cooling fan, serial ATA data cables for the two hard drives, and DVD recordable drive, a power strip with surge protection, the tools we'll need, a flathead or minus screwdriver, a Phillips or plus screwdriver, a power screwdriver is optional, needle nose pliers for getting into tight spaces or to retrieve dropped screws, and a parts container to hold the small screws while we're working and to store extras. When using a power screwdriver, be careful not to over tighten the screws. It's easy to strip the threads, which can ruin the part. If you do strip the threads, try using another screw with bigger threads in the hole. To reduce the likelihood of this happening, hold the power driver very loosely, so when the screw is tight, the driver will slip in your hand. Under no circumstances, use a power drill with a screwdriver adapter. We'll be putting together a mid-tower computer, which is the most popular case type. Since installing parts is a little different in every case, we will show several cases throughout the installation lessons. Let's remove the case cover. Most case covers are held in by screws, two or three per side. Some cases come with thumb screws, and you can remove them with your fingers, or a power screwdriver. To remove the case sides, simply pull back and to the side. Inside the case, you'll find a bag of screws. You can use the parts container to separate the different sizes and types of screws to make finding them later a little easier. There are two basic types of screws, screws with little threads and screws with big threads. The screws with little threads are used on DVD and Blu-ray drives. The screws with big threads are used on the motherboard, hard drives, and add-on cards. There are exceptions, but the general rule is if a screw doesn't fit in a hole, try the other kind. If your case came with a power supply, the cables will be hanging loose in the case. Bring them out of the case to keep them out of the way until they're needed. If your case didn't come with a power supply and you've bought one separately, hold off on installing it until lesson 9. Inside the case, we have space to install the motherboard, three and a half inch bays for the hard drives, and five and a quarter inch bays to install DVD and Blu-ray drives. There are several cables coming from the front panel that control the power and reset buttons and also light up the hard drive activity light. Some cases also come with cables for a sleep button, power light, and case speaker. There are USB, Firewire, and audio cables coming from the front panel as well. We will connect these cables to the motherboard in Lesson 3. In Lesson 2, we'll show how to install the memory sticks and both Intel and AMD processors onto their motherboards.